Sugar Buddies YouTube channel. And check the link down below of the, my whole entire house. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Good just job. kidding. It's Abby. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Well, Hello we got again. Nobody Abby. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, we decided we're going to do another video today. We did one yesterday. We're going to do one today. Got the whole house here looking good. Lots of fun. We haven't even begun to go over there. We will soon though. Hey, First off, I want to give a little quick shout out to Sandy, who was first commenter yesterday on the dining room and music room video. Thank you so much. My room. Also, Sam O'Hare, after we do, we're going to do this one today, so that one, hey, and then we're going to get over to the haunted for you. I have not forgot about you. So today we are doing Stay my ball. room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is my dollhouse, by the way, and I rule. I like Abby. She's cool. So it is the study hall. It is the room which comes off the Scaris death deck, makes Whoops. for a hallway, oh, come on. which goes into the dining room. My other room. So I'll give you a quick overview. It's a skinny one. This shouldn't be too long. I am going to spend a few minutes at the end to show some products. Hopefully some pointers and help with questions people have been asking in the main video. I hope that's of help. I'll try not to keep it too long. The dining room one was pretty long, but I hope it was helpful. Pick up. And there it is. Hey, so first, up. we'll start off with original Rochelle. Gracie did have her before, <laughs> and she was quite a bit younger. Do you have the first one? And uh, <laughs> she put a Sharpie to it in its face. So we got a new head and put her together in the most normal way. Here. She'll look for that. But otherwise we can say I have always, always loved Rochelle. There's just something that's what Gracie did <laughs> to the original. A little bit different. Uh, a lot I tried. different. I got some off, but not it's all. It's a floating head. So unfortunately we had to say hi to the, the floating head. head. Luckily she doesn't do that anymore. But we have her now and take care of this one. That one's for fun and sticking on things. And this piece here, the peacock um, wicker chair, was mine from the past. I think people my age will remember Finger Hut. I believe I Finger had Hut. Finger Hut so long ago. Is Finger Hut like an online thing? Um, no, we didn't have online then. It was a catalog. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and I would like to do a cushion there later. I haven't gotten around to that. But she Comment looks mighty below. pretty on that. Comment down below if you know that one. <laughs> <laughs> of people my age know Fingerhead. It wasn't a website, it was a catalog. No, the new this was Gracie's new first year. series, so we tried to show honor to that. The In the Scarra City, we just scanned those pictures from, if you remember, from the journal. So that made for pretty there. Of course, these things all always in here mostly came, did come from Michael's. Talk about Tan's craft in metal. Where is it? There it is. Another little piece that maybe cost $1.50. Took a little time to paint, but she has a Florida de Lee collection and we are building with that. As a matter of fact, we have a few more pieces we'd like to put in. Just found some gorgeous pictures of the Eiffel Tower to put in here and show Eiffel off. Eiffel Tower! And you know, she's right. Just to get some history and geography lessons out of Rochelle. <coughs> Excuse me, her box art. I've usually not done the bigger pieces but this one was just so cute, I could not resist. So that had to go up there. To make it smooth here, I did put decoupage. I've been calling it decoupage, and I really should call it mod podge. Decoupage is a French word for cutout, and actually does apply in the French for all the little plates we did. That's true, if you ever looked it up, decoupage can be done on lots of things, but originally it was done on clear plates, and they built it from the back. So I try to go with that effect for those things that was just magazines, catalogs, cut the pictures out, different, make it look like somebody worked really hard to scrap that all together. <laughs> Otherwise, covering things with Mod Podge just is, makes a sealant and the product is nice. And, and we have, okay, we have her head again. Wonderful. <laughs> um, over on this wall, we have the parental yeah. reference to learn from of Gargoyles movie. They're ugly, but more gargoyles. We have her box art there with her little picture. 
I don't know where we got those from. Probably scanned them from something. The cutouts are silhouettes. The only trick you got to know about cutting these out is you turn the turn the paper, not the scissors. Keep the scissors stationary and moving. And then you'll have a cardboard look on the edge. You just get a sharpie or a little black marker and outline that. And then therefore you don't have that cardboardy look and it looks more full. Her R. That is a technique used to make fake stone with dry brushing and then spattering with paint from a toothbrush. A jewelry pendant earring of some sort that probably broke. As I said, she's doing a Fleur de Lis collection, so we'll put more lots in there. Yay! Her fountains, there's one on each side. Here we have Create a Monster. We got him dressed up in leftovers. He's got a little bit of Deuce going on, a little bit of Jackson. This is great for not having no hair. I say it's her ex-boyfriend. Gracie no. says it's her brother. <laughs> her brother. So he's kind of fun to have in there. Comment down below what his name should be. Yeah, we haven't named these things. So you'll see there's two fountains. Those were bought from 112 oh, outdoor stuff, so they would probably be much bigger than a 112. But in here they worked out quite perfectly for little side things. If I can fit in here. More jewelry. You can even find cheap jewelry from the dollar store and just pull off the pendants. You can just use some pliers to snap off the little the little nib on the top where you put it in and uh, makes for great jewelry. The windows, we've explained lots. This window dressing was done very similar to what I explained in the dining room, which was also what was done in the living room. The top portion I did not make. That was a choker, a cheap little choker. Same idea, glue it all onto the back. The only thing I did was I added this, put a little puffy paint, and added this. So I didn't make any of that. You can get that in ribbon, probably bought from Michaels. Another um, shirt that was used, so I didn't do any of this sewing. I just took advantage of what was naturally there. Made the little thing, glued it. There it goes. The crayon off the board is actually Jackson looking. We have a Florida Lee big one there. That's another wood piece from Michaels that we just... Um, did that rock stone faux look. Two plates with two more pairs of earrings in them. And then I think I put some, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, it's like a thick, thick sealant to fill that in. If you look, just made it have some body. Crackle coat, crackle it was, crackle sealant. More old jewelry and pieces. Lord Lee's, we're gonna put some more up here. Can you help me with this video? Um, here and here, which Frankie do we have here? It can't see. They have picture day. Picture day and... Random Laguna. Random Laguna with Mad Science outfit we gained. That chair, whoops, her name fell on. Hey, Mom. That chair, and her little table and two chairs. Came Mom. from eBay, a little lot we got with some toilets in it and stuff. Ew. It was bright pink. It was the knockoff Gloria, I believe. And we just spray painted it. Coat of primer and white. <laughs> Worked out well in there. When I was falling. Um, you already seen the stairs going there, and then the stairs going in there. That's of course Alex's work. Without him, this just would not have that extra appeal. So the bed. This one needs a little hit. Oops. Aww. And it had that slide out effect we were going for. This one does come out a little better, a little further. Um, hard to get in. It was the pre-made piece, like the other ones. The difference here was we put a piece of trim here. We used another piece of that railing. Just put an ending on here to give it an end. It does not connect on the left and right. It just slides in and out. In the back, you can't see it. There's a bumper back there, so things don't fall out the back. Yay. Um, this one is really interesting and funny. And her little portrait over here. This is... <laughs> Rochelle, with some fix-ups. Dance Oops. class, Rochelle. We kind of put this one together. I don't want you guys to see me. Hey! Long ago, Gracie no, had... No, you're not going to be able to see me. Here. And I want you to see me. Look at the camera so they can see what you're looking at. Gracie had, what was it, Goom, 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 Goom Beach? Or Skull, Goom Beach. Skull Shores. She no, had Skull the set Shore. much in her earlier days. Nice. Here, can you fix that? And she, um... Oh, I can't see. She had her, and she cut it. 
so we did not throw it out of weight and waste. <clears throat> what I did was took the puffy bank, which works for fabric, and put it on there, and we kind of made it a little short and top set. Ow, 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 my finger, so my finger. Exactly, get wa wasted, and for us, it's her pajamas. Yeah. This was an extra. We wasn't had my fault her hair got messed up. She's got some dead gorgeous little accessories in here. She's a little no. messy. No. Ghoul's Night Out. Oh, Ghoul's Night Out, that's right. Yeah, her, I love Fleur de Lis. It's kind of special in our house. We have it's a decorated. tattoo. I, I have a tattoo of it. I don't need to show that. Come on, Mom. Probably my favorite of shoes of all because I do love Fleur de Lis. <laughs> and who lost one? Her. <laughs> <laughs> And so it wasn't my fault. My hair got messed up. It was Trinity's fault. Yeah, she's kind of mean and threw her around, huh? Yep. <clears throat> we did get a new head for the other one. She's got some of her that soap. That that soap is in. We just used um, scrapbook paper for here. You know, French has a very detailed woodworking and wallpaper and stuff. So that ceiling we did extra special. Alex was not too happy to do that. That's just a piece of wallpaper. Then you put the trim on it. But that had to be perfectly even, and he hated that job. <laughs> More of that. So More of that wallpaper is just um, scrapbook paper. So floor de lis back there. Her bed is the same we showed you in the other ones. It's the same exact idea. Um, here I can show you where we use different effects, as I was telling you, with sewing. Let's come down here. So instead of the hand sewing I did on um, operettas, this one I used a sewing machine and squared it off. I used a stamp there. Same thing with two different sides. Thank you, Miss Cindy. That was an awesome shirt when it fit me. Um, Who's Cindy? Cindy. She used to come into my work. Wow. So here we have that same thing. Did it in the same way and then outlined it with a nice stitch of dark, dark stitching. Oh, you put a stamp on it. To show, put a stamp on it. Of course... I did both sides so you can always oh, cool. play you can you know intermix whether you want that showing or you want this showing whatever same with the cushion as I said the only difference is it's got its outlining to make it different from the rest there is padding in there I don't use toilet paper I use um, regular stuffing kind of gives a more natural look that's just me I guess I didn't do different sides on this one that's okay whoops but you get the idea that the different, they are really super simple and just repetitive in which um, fabrics we used. So, coming back up here, we have this with the um, felt that we also used over here. And his to match looks kind of like rocks, or yeah, rocks and stones. There is another one of her one of these little chests that we got from Michael's. It cost next to nothing. We did one in Gulia's. Used the rock. This one I didn't. I did dry brush and did not do the splatter just to make them look like different woods. And here you can see everything is waxed on so we don't have to worry about it falling. The little frames were Barbie. We just put the pictures in the match. It's all about the details. Make it cool. Not much more to show in here besides I cannot close enough the pictures those were just what were they printed on cardboard oh they're pretty thick um, I think they might have been straight from the box as we cut them out so they had some thickness to them. a real thin nice perfect coat of puffy paint a little bit of nail polish and then the sticker underneath double-sided sticker just made it look like a frame and then we just had fun with all the little plates and made them all kind of different. Whoops, I accidentally turned the camera off. <laughs> Have to go back where we were. On complete fun decoupage. All the portraits from Scaris. Had a lot of fun. So I think we've covered most of that room. That whatever clock is a piece from a magazine that we mudge podged. After putting it on a piece of um, cardstock makes it a little thicker and easy to work with. There's a cute little gem which you can't see there much. Gem Florida Lee. Um, 
This stonework is done with a sponge or a dry brush, whichever you want. The key is put a little paint on it and then brush some off. Sponge two to three different shades. First you put a base coat, then two to three different shades. And then you can do it, as I said, this way. Make a fourth coat with black, white, or silver by splattering it on with a toothbrush. Or you can leave out that and just do this style with the dry brush. Different looks, different effects. Definitely looks like there's different stonework all over the place. I believe I added some to that too. That was a little bit plain. So, quickly a shout out to Dance and Dolls. I just, me and her had an awesome conversation through the comment box. I just want to say, stick to your dreams. Make them happen. Yay! Don't worry about what other people say. Just keep being as sweet as you are. Um, here's some products that are handy dandy things that hopefully will help for those of us. We got some extra things here. We found this at Michael's. Figure out what to do with that. It was like that. I painted that, markered that on. I'm gonna see what I want to do to hang that on our wall. Found these at Joann's. More decorations from the walls for her Florida Week collection. We'll get to that later. This, um, oh, let's start with this. Tulip is my favorite of the puffy paints I talk about a lot. Can you take the top off, baby? It has a really nice precision top for getting into really dainty areas. You can do it quite thick and get lots of dimension, or you can do it thinner, or you can spread it out. What this is for fabric, it works for a lot of things. It's got a really gluey kind of thing to it. Stickles, on the other hand, is for paper. You'll find that in the, um, um, which aisle is that? Fabric crafts and Michaels you'll find this in the craft looking this is for paper stickles is very flat when it dries as opposed to puffy paint having as much dimension as you give it of course we use that for a lot of the candles and things like that as a matter of handy dandy the colors look very different in the bottle than they do when they dry that's this one so I made a color key for one, so I don't forget what colors I have. I just look when I'm deciding when I do something. And for two, I can see what sheen they are, what color I'm gonna get out of them, and do my projects that way. As you can see, these are all the ones we used in the beach. You know, those are just as I gain them. And I've had these for years. They last a long time. If they get plugged up, you just stick a needle in them, and they'll get flowing again. <clears throat> Every now and then, they'll spit out at you. That always stinks. Talk about pre-cut woods. These are from Michaels. They have a nice little woodworking section. Birch, it's very easy to cut. Comes in different sizes. This is what I've used for skinny beds. This was for medium beds, probably Rebecca size, I think. Yes, and then the skinny rooms like Rochelle was a, a wider size. They come in different thicknesses. You can see the different thicknesses. So the price goes anywhere from a dollar to four dollars, depending on how thick and how big. These are for the beach later for a uh, for the bunk beds, right? Then we have this wood. That was what those window treatments were done. Um, I always suggest priming wood. I know it seems like a silly step, but it really does make things last longer. And you don't have to worry. You use less paint because the paint doesn't soak in with the primer coat. Um, so this was for the window treatments where I stuck the curtains hanging from it and then any beading or any um, of those frilly trims cut a piece off and there you go handy handy that's birch birch is easy to cut so okay, from michael's i also got this thing which is wonderful cute little miter box um as i said alex did all the big cutting and the saw work some i could do with a compound saw not my favorite thing especially with dainty Hello. woods so this comes in handy you just Ow. i don't know if you know about miter boxes who doesn't who does easy to learn you put it in there you put that in there, hold it, it gives you a straight line. If you want an angle, you stick it in there. That was less than 10 bucks for the saw, the miter box, I think an extra blade. Super handy for all kinds of little things. I love that. And I can use that in the house because it doesn't make a lot of dust. I can sit on the floor in the living room and make it happen. And this is just a comparison. Yeah, that's good. Show how absolutely little it is. Just a plain monster. I know. Let's talk that. about little nails. Can you open that? Can you open that? Teeny weeny itty bitty nails from Lowe's. 
they are so little. Here's my fingernail. Here it is. Here's the hammer. My favorite hammer I've had forever. Little girly thing. At least if I hit my thumbs and my fingers, it doesn't hurt as much. It has a screwdriver and stuff inside. Hey. It has a matching um, uh, razor blade utility knife and a matching pliers. There's one of them. Run around the house. How girly is that? I gotta tell you, I've not actually used those very much. And we didn't but, even know about this one, but if you twist the top. Yeah, she just figured that one out. Last she knew that a, she a baby teeny, one. Teeny, teeny, that's handy for batteries and opening, especially the ghouls alive. Okay, a mom. So good to know. A child, a baby, and a father. Yeah. Then I talk a lot about decoupage Mod Podge. This is a great product, very common. Michael's, I'm sure you can get that anywhere. It's basically just school glue, really. Use it for a sealer. It says what it is. The nice part about that is matte, satin, um, semi-gloss, high-gloss. You get all different kinds of sheens. And the sheens, you can change stuff up and make it so you got that look that kind of happens in every room. You can change up your sheens of any kind of color sheen. paints. Well, there it's very shiny as glossy or very dull as matte. Hi, Panda. Comes in handy. We've used this stuff not only for the dollhouse, but for tons and tons of other projects. Sorry about that noise, dog. Just panda. <laughs> this is dog. Always where mama is. And so, once again, those shout outs to Sandy, Dance and Dolls, Sam O'Hare. We haven't forgot about you. We are probably going to head up to the boys' room next, and then we're going to take a break from the big house and go over to Haunted. Right here, where all the floating yes. people are. They're then fun. we. Thank you for all your wonderful comments, your questions, joining in. We're still waiting for a name. Gracie's really happy about the Violet Rose. We'll let you know as she decides what to call it. We are super buddies Bye, forever. So and the band, like, gets in if you haven't, please subscribe and definitely please share. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>